Hey guys, this is Pixel Fiend Tech here and today I have a audio slash visual test with the camera I'm filming on right now, which is the Nikon D5200. Okay, so currently I'm recording on this. This is probably making some funny sounds because I'm pointing it away, but this is the Giant Squid Audio Lav Mic. So what I'm um, going to do in this video is basically record some things and show you um, for, At the start I'll show you comparison between this microphone here and the inbuilt microphone And then I'll do some video tests and show you some pictures I've taken Now all this, um, the video section is all done on manual focus And it's all on the automatic modes just to um, give you a feel of how the camera copes when uh, just by itself. So what I'm going to do now is unplug the microphone. So the microphone has now been unplugged and hopefully you'll be able to hear a difference between the sound quality of the microphone and the sound quality of the camera. Now the camera does have a stereo mic just up here on top of it. Um, so it should deliver an okay sound though won't be as good probably as the microphone I was just using. Um, so at the moment you should be able to see the kind of test. Now I'll just quickly show you something. If I come closer to the camera you will see that it is out of focus unless I hold down the shutter button and you'll see now I'm in focus. And if I do zoom right in on my face it should be in fairly good focus. Um, so then when I zoom out you can see yet again I'm out of focus and uh, there we go I've held the button down and I'm in focus again. So it is fairly easy to use though I would prefer if it just did it by itself. So um, all I'm going to do now is take the camera off the tripod and I'll just probably take it outside into the garden or around the house and do some video tests. So um, what I'll do is on the videos I will keep it all automatic probably manual focus and manual zoom well obviously manual zoom and uh, all on the auto modes and the video I will use the inbuilt microphone and I will keep that sound in the videos obviously the photos I won't use the microphone because photos do have sound so um, I'll just take it off the tripod and go round Okay, so I just took the camera off the tripod, which you can see there, um, and switched it right over to automatic focus. Now, this does have vibration reduction on the lens. It's just the standard kit lens, uh, 18 to 55 millimeters. Um, so this is on automatic mode, and it's uh, automatic zoom, uh, automatic focus as well. So I'm going to see how the vibration reduction does as I walk around my house. So um, as you can see here I'm just walking down the stairs so there's going to be a lot of vibration there isn't there? So you can see how the camera copes. Now if you flip around you can see the mirror behind me how I'm holding this thing. Okay so um, autofocus test number one Now you can hear the lens going into focus there as I hold down the button and yes my face is a bit fuzzy, it's fixed now. So I'm just going to walk around the house, you can see outside there it's all white until I step to the side and you can focus in and see outside. So this will hopefully give you um, a test of the auto modes and the vibration reduction. So now I'm just going to take it out into the garden and do some shots there.
Okay guys, so um, I'm back inside and on a few of the last clips I put on my um, autofocus just to kind of exaggerate the noise. Now since the microphone is just on top of the camera and the focus ring is right next to that, you pick up the noise from the autofocus quite a lot in the videos. So if you're doing autofocus in your videos, then I would highly recommend using an external microphone and keeping it slightly further away from the focus ring or just not recording sound because it, when you're recording videos that kind of sound it just ruins the whole thing um, so as you can hear here the audio is okay because it's on manual focus and I'm not needing to adjust because I'm staying the same length away from the lens um, but overall I thought that those videos outside um, kind of captured some of the quality um, that the both stills and moving pictures that this camera can produce. Um, so overall I was happy with it, there really wasn't too much vibration in some of the clips. Um, so let me know what you think um, and thanks for watching. If you want to know any more just simply ask um, email me pixelfintech at gmail.com or leave a comment. So thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed. So guys that's the end of the video, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe to my channel. Also head over to Facebook and Twitter, my names are on screen and I'll also put links down in the description. If you've got any questions you would like to ask, please leave a comment or email me at the address on screen. Thanks for watching. See you.